Krista Marilla, and I am the Vice President and Chief Marketing Officer at Keeneland. And Krista, what are some of your job responsibilities in that role? Well, I oversee the marketing for Keeneland. So that is our, our advertising, our social media, the things that um, we design to attract people to come here to race and sell and enjoy um, all the things that Keeneland does, which I'm excited to share more about. I also um, oversee a few other departments, our communications team, our broadcast team, our retail operations, as well as the Keeneland Library. And can you spend a little time telling us about your background? And this would be maybe your school experiences or your life experiences that got you to this point in your career. Sure. Well, I grew up around 15 minutes away from where I sit here at Keeneland. I grew up in Midway. I'm a Woodford County graduate of Woodford County High School and then I went to the University of Kentucky where I studied marketing and while at the University of Kentucky I uh, fell upon an internship here at Keeneland in the marketing department and I completed my internship. I worked here for a full year when I was a senior at UK and at the, the conclusion of that internship, Keeneland kind of waved and said, nice job, off you go, we love you and I'm sure you'll do great things. But I didn't leave, I kept coming back to Keeneland. I really felt like my heart was here. I fell in love with this place, I fell in love with the sport and I convinced them to give me a job. As a junior marketing, um, I think I was, I think my first position was an assistant marketing coordinator. Um, and I'm not even really sure what that meant at the time, but I was just excited to work at Keeneland and um, just continued to move through the, the ranks here and take on any opportunities that I could and just be a sponge and learn as much as I can. And the rest is history. So I've been here for almost 18 years. And it seems like just yesterday I was a little intern. 18 years, wow. Um, I think you've touched upon this a bit. I, I think it's evident to us that you have a lot of different responsibilities and they're varied from day to day. But if you had to describe your typical day, what would your typical day look like? It's actually a hard question because there is no typical day here at Keeneland. And um, I think one of the exciting things of having the opportunity to work with so many different really talented teams is every day is a little different. You know, some days I'm doing what you would maybe expect. I'm in meetings and we're picking out creative for an advertising campaign or looking at video for a new TV commercial. But there's also days where we're exploring um, the grandstand and rebranding a concession stand or looking at a new exhibit at the Keeneland Library or just taking a horse farm tour and uh, just making sure that we're in the know with, with what's happening with our sponsors and partners and um, every day is different. It's, it's an exciting place to be. I can imagine. Um, I think that it's safe to say that there are challenges, like there would be challenges in any role. Uh, what would you describe as the hardest part of your job? That's, I, I would say one of the hardest things about my job is also one of the most exciting things. And in, in marketing and in sponsorship and communications and broadcast and the number of areas that I have the pleasure of, of working with, you have to always be evolving. And that is really important, especially for Keeneland. We take pride in being a leader in the industry and you can't get complacent and it's important to always push uh, the next you know innovation the next new thing in terms of marketing or fan development and engagement and so it's a challenge it's definitely a challenge to continue to um, I wouldn't say we reinvent but to continue to evolve and, and innovate while also maintaining what's so special about this place the tradition and uh, the pageantry and the things that, that really make Keeneland so special. So there's, there's definitely a balance. Mm -hmm. You want to preserve and maintain the traditions uh, of the sport, but then you also want to be pushing, pushing forward. 
Well, you know, I think that's so important that you bring that up because what you're speaking about really boils down to being adaptive. And regardless of what role or job you have in the industry, you have to be adaptive. You have to be flexible. Um, I think that that's probably really critical you're exactly for, right. for any role. So thank you for talking about that sure. with us. Sure. Um, well, what is the f your very favorite thing about your job, maybe on the flip side? It's definitely this team. It's, uh, it's really fun when you have the opportunity to work with people that you really care about. And uh, everyone that, that works here at Keeneland, we all have an appreciation and a love for not only this place, but for the thoroughbred industry. And it's exciting when you come to work every day and the, the decision that you have is what's the right thing to do for the industry and what's the right thing to do for the community. And it's, it's very special to be a part of that. And everyone here at Keeneland and the, the people that I have the opportunity to, to work with, they believe that. And so we link arms and we, we work on a myriad of different projects, but we're always doing it for a bigger, a, a greater good. And that's really fulfilling. I can imagine. Um, this is a challenging question, I think, um, but I'm gonna ask it anyway. So if you had to do something over again to get to this point in your career, what would it be? It is a challenging question, and um, I would say if I were able to turn back time and kind of rechart the the events that happened with my career, it would have been really tremendous to have more hands-on experience in the industry before before becoming you know falling into this role at Keeneland. The timing was such that I had an opportunity when I completed my internship that I felt like the time was now. However, it would have been wonderful to have more experiences um, in the industry just for me to have been able to have that vocabulary and just general awareness, whether it would be you know, working with a farm or uh, even I'm, I'm in marketing, so maybe even on an account at an advertising agency that is related to the thoroughbred industry. Mm -hmm. So it's not to say that it, it can't work out, it clearly can, and I was able to learn, and, and I'm still learning. After 18 years, there's things that I'm learning that are new and exciting about this sport that never stops, but I, I encourage internships and shadowing experiences and reading the publications about the industry that you want to get involved in um, just to to give you that leg up um, when you sure. are pursuing a career and, and looking for full-time employment well that segues just perfectly into my last question which is what advice would you give to a middle school or a high school student who's considering working in the industry i think it's just that i think it's always raising your hand and, and looking for opportunities if a position doesn't seem like it's available, whether it's an internship still, ask to, to do a job shadow or um, just learn more to submerse yourself in the industry. And it can be a little intimidating. You know, sometimes I, I was not, I wasn't raised in the industry. I wasn't raised on a horse farm. And it was a little intimidating for me to break into the sport. My family was not in the, in the industry, but um, I have found in, in my time in the industry and my time here at Keeneland that the people who raise their hand and um, seek out those opportunities and be aggressive and say, you know, I, I want to, I want to learn. Can I just watch you? Can I get you a cup of coffee and learn more? Can, can you spend five minutes telling me about what you do? That gets noticed and mm -hmm. um, that gets you on people's radars of, oh, okay, this is someone who's hungry and excited to be in this industry. And um, I think that pays dividends. I really do. Just persistence. I do too. And thank you so much for sharing your time with us this afternoon and your insight. Thanks so much to Krista at Keeneland.
Insights is a career awareness series for middle and high school students considering work in the horse or racing industries. Our recorded interviews give you the chance to gain insights into various jobs, hear diverse perspectives, and gather advice from people who work across the industry. These interviews are intentionally unedited to connect you to exactly what you would see and hear if you were asking the questions yourself. As you think about possible work in the industry, put yourself out there. Meet people and ask them these kinds of questions. For more information about insights and career resources, visit our website at racingmuseum.org.